Gaben has blessed us all as the Steam sales are back. This time with the autumn sale that ends on 3rd December. Let's start off with some titles that always go on sale. PUBG. We've got PUBG here because well, it's PUBG. People all over the world are either playing this or the mobile version. So if you want in, now's your chance. It's currently 50% off, which makes it 499 rupees in India. GTA 5. Rockstar's money-making cow. GTA 5 is next on our list. This game is still popular and relevant years after release, thanks to all the mods available on PC. You can pick this up for 50% off at 1050 rupees. Rainbow Six Siege. One of the most popular shooters out there, Rainbow Six Siege has gotten cheaper than before and seems to always be on sale, which is great. It's got a lot of unique and fun mechanics, but prepare yourself for that initial learning curve. The base version is 60% off and available for 400 rupees. Rocket League, one of the most fun esports titles out there, Rocket League will give you tons of hours of gameplay, if you can get into it. Also, this might be the last sale for this game on Steam, since it will soon move to the Epic Games Store. It's currently 50% off and available for just Rs. 282. Now let's move on to some shooty shooty bang bang games. Destiny 2 just moved to Steam and has seen a resurgence in players. It's extremely fun, has loads of content and is free to get into right now but has some amazing DLCs like Forsaken and Shadowkeep. Both are 40% off with Forsaken available for 341 rupees while Shadowkeep is for 455. Doom, one of the best modern shooters out there. No shooter can capture the same feel as Doom 2016. This game is an absolute blast with a killer soundtrack that can be picked up for Rs. 479 since it's 70% off. Wolfenstein 1 and 2. If demons weren't enough, you can get Wolfenstein to shoot some Nazis in the face or the balls. This is another classic shooter franchise that nails the shooting and gameplay. Both are 70% off with Wolfenstein available for 353 rupees, while the second one is for 899 rupees. Gears 5. Gears 5 was probably the first Microsoft exclusive title to come to Steam, which paved the path for Halo. It's a gorgeous game that continues the Gears of War story and continues to offer some solid cover-based shooting. It's 50% off and available for rupees 649. The Max Payne Collection, one of the best third-person shooters. Period. While Max Payne 3 is a big shift in tone as it moves away from the neo-noir theme but the shooting is still absolutely phenomenal. All three games are 65% off with the first two being available for 228 rupees while the third installment is available for 342 rupees. Now let's move on to some action adventure games. The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 is one of the best open world RPGs you can play right now. Amazing visuals, quests and stories along with Gwent makes you want to say Praise Geraldo in the most sincere way possible. It's 70% off, which makes it just Rs. 299, which is essentially daylight robbery. The Batman Arkham Collection. These games truly make you feel like Batman. The entire collection is 75% off and available for just 337 rupees, which has all seven Arkham games, including the four mainline ones. Hitman 2 and Hitman 1. Become the world's most deadliest hitman who has a lovely dry sense of humor that peaks when you assassinate folks in painstakingly crafted levels that give you the utmost freedom. Hitman 2 is 75% off and available for just 495 rupees. And then you can get the Goatee Legacy Pack for 132 rupees, which features all the levels and missions from Hitman 1 in the updated Hitman 2 engine. Metal Gear Solid 5, the best sandbox game that allows you to approach every mission however you want. While the story does leave you unsatisfied, the gameplay is some of the best in the world. It also has tons of Kojima charm to it, so there's that. The definitive experience is 60% off and available for just Rs. 639. Next up, the latest Assassin's Creed game, Odyssey. This continues the RPG approach toward Assassin's Creed games and has some solid gameplay in which you can sync 50 plus hours. It's 55% off and available for Rs. 1349. Middle Earth Shadow of War Shadow of War is the sequel to the much-renowned Shadow of Mordor where you must fight the minions of Sauron which is extremely fun thanks to the Nemesis system which builds these intense storylines with even the most generic enemies. The Definitive Edition is currently 75% off and available for just 287 rupees. Dying Light. Besides Left 4 Dead 2, Dying Light is the best zombie game that you can play. With a sequel coming very soon, Dying Light is a must play thanks to its story, exploration, and parkour. Dark Souls 3. Dark Souls 3 is one of the most accessible Dark Souls games that you can play. While Sekiro is much closer to the combat of Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, 
it's pretty expensive. Dark Souls 3 is also similar and is a great way to get into the series. It's 75% off with the Deluxe Edition at Rs 1229. Now let's take a look at some fighting games. Tekken 7, one of the most famous fighting game series in India, Tekken 7 is a solid entry to get back into the franchise. With tons of characters and a very competitive scene, it's a lot of fun to play. It's 70% off and just Rs 296, which is a great price to get a taste before you go deeper into the game. Mortal Kombat 11, the goriest fighting game since its inception, Mortal Kombat 11 is a great sequel. It's 50% off at just Rs 674, which is a fantastic price for this game, more so if you plan on playing it with friends. And finally, for something spooky, Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil 7 brought back the franchise thanks to its gameplay and story and is a great horror game that you can play. Not to mention Resident Evil 2 Remake is the perfect remake to the classic PlayStation title. Resident Evil 7 is 50% off and available for Rs 999, while Resident Evil 2 Remake is 67% off and available for Rs 989. That's about it for this video. These were just some of the most popular titles on sale right now that are worth getting. Now these are mostly mainstream games, so we'll be making a part 2 video where we can take a look at some of the lesser known games or games that can act as a taste breaker. Let us know what games you want to see in the video by commenting below and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on that video.